everybody and in this tutorial I will be showing you how you can crop flip and scale pictures so what you're going to need is a picture that you can crop or flip GIMP and depending on when you're on Windows or Mac you need to download the types of GIMP the application and the EXE so now if you go to tools you'll see all these pictures here not pictures all these sections here you have to go to the transform tools then you will see more of these so first I'm gonna show you how you crop and these there are keys that can allow you to crop easier like shift C so I'm just gonna click this you'll see a knife beside your cursor then you select a point I'm gonna select 250 right here and then I'm gonna drag then you see there will be this rectangle or square depending on where you drag to <clears throat> and if you let go it will only show this part that's not shaded so if I hit enter as you can see it cropped the picture so it only showed the parts that weren't shaded this is a good trick if you have a picture and you want to crop someone out of it that's a pretty good trick and then enter so I crop that part out of it <coughs> now what if I don't want to crop it I just want to scale it to make it smaller I can click scale it should show up with this right here now if I change the width to 10 and then change the height to a hundred and hit scale you see it's like so small over there that you can't even see it well we don't want that so I'm gonna get it back to normal then that is how you scale it you can set it to whatever you want just the easiest one to deal with though <coughs> Let me just hit scale again. You see here it says pixels right here. Depending on what how you want to scale it, you choose whatever you want. But pixels are the easiest to work with. So let me just do like that. Now we're gonna go on to the rotate tool. If you hit rotate, it should show up with kind of the same thing. But now it says angle here. So you can change the angle to what you want. So yeah, you can change the angle to whatever you want. But this center here, it says X and Y. If you want to just rotate the image like normal, keep it like this and keep it in pixels. Okay? But if you wanted to make it kind of um, uh, different, you can change the center to wherever you like, <laughs> and it will flip it in a different way. Um, so let's say I'm going to change Y to 10 and hit rotate. You see, because the center changed, it has changed where the picture is going to be when you rotate it. So that's a pretty cool trick I have tried and it works pretty well with rotation but I still feel like just using a scale or crop would be better but there is an alternate solution if you don't want to use the scale or crop you could go to tools again transform tools <coughs> wait transform tools then you see here, there is this one called Flip. Click Flip. Now you see your cursor is going to be a little different again. This will be allowing you to flip it um, left or right, depending on what you're doing. It's kind of not working for me since I'm kind of lacking right here. Okay, here, here it comes. Here, you see I just flipped this photo completely. So, there is another way to flip. 
<coughs> this will only allow you to flip left and right. Now we're going to make it flip vertically or horizontally. So just select image and click transform, then click whatever you want for the flip. You see now it's upside down. So that's another way to make it flip or rotate. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If it helped you out, and it, tell me if it helped you out. So have a nice day.